Well, the classical music, music world has lost a giant tonight. Pianist Leon Fleischer has died at the age of 92. Known around the world as one of the greatest of his generation, here in Baltimore he is remembered as a revered professor at the Peabody Conservatory, a frequent conductor and performer. WJZ last caught up with Leon in 2014 when his CD rose to the top of the charts. You want to know how many records got me to the top of the charts, classical? You won't believe this. 358. 358. <laughs> and I'm at the top of the chart. Leon Fleischer had no illusions about the popularity of classical music. It is an art form, and he was its master. He began studying piano at the age of four, made his debut at the age of eight, played with the New York Philharmonic at 16. His awards include the Queen Elizabeth Prize, several honorary doctorates, and in 2007, the Kennedy Center Honor. Leon's work became the gold standard of his generation. In 1964, a crisis appeared to quiet those gifts forever. His right hand suddenly, without reason, simply would not play, would not even move. This condition that I have is called focal dystonia. It is a neurological movement disorder. <laughs> A professor at Peabody for over 50 years, Leon continued conducting and performing pieces composed for the left hand. But in 1982, opening night of the Meyerhoff Symphony Hall, he sat at the piano and made a triumphant comeback playing again with two hands. Leon continued to teach and to perform until, according to his son Julian, just last week. The joys and the satisfactions of, of working in, in uh, in a field such as this are, are really quite indescribable. And I feel totally, totally blessed. And I know the hundreds of students that he trained who are now performing around the world, many of them uh, still in this town, feel blessed to have been taught by him. He was a genius and he lived a wonderful life. Started studying at age four. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Well, by ear, he just sat down. Unbelievable, mm -hmm. just amazing.